If your child took the PSAT 8-9 through Duke Tip recently, you might be looking for some guidance on how to interpret the scores. As you look at these scores, there's one very important thing to remember. For students taking this test as a 4th, 5th, or 6th grader, there's really no such thing as a bad score. Duke Tip encourages you to look at the PSAT 8-9 as a diagnostic tool, a way to identify relative academic strengths. Just being invited to take the PSAT 8-9 as an above grade level test is an honor in and of itself. You're going to have access to two different score reports. The first one comes directly from the PSAT 8-9 testing agency and not from Duke Tip. This score report is going to compare your scores to those of typical 8th graders, not to other Duke Tip students. It should arrive in your mailbox in April or May. Since your child is under the age of 13, you won't be able to see this report online, and there are some additional online features you won't be able to access. The second score report is something Duke Tip puts together itself, so that's the one we'll concentrate on here. We call it the PSAT 89 Score Results Summary, and it's available for download on our website at tip.duke.edu slash PSAT 89 scores. This report compares your child's scores to those of other Duke Tip students taking the test through the 4th through 6th grade talent search. As you dive into this report, you'll see that we calculate a couple different things. One, the average scores of all the students who took the test. Two, the average scores of all the 4th, 5th, and 6th graders who took the test broken down by grade level. Three, the average scores of all the 8th and 9th graders who took the test. And four, the highest scores for each area. On the score frequency table, we'll also help you compare your child's scores with those of other Duke Tip students. For instance, if you have a fifth grader who scored a 440 on the math portion of the test, you can scan down to find 440, and then scan right to find 76, which tells you that your child had a better math score than 76% of the fifth graders who took the test. You can do the same for your child's evidence-based reading and writing score, as well as the total score. We know all that's a lot to take in, but really there's just one key takeaway. Any 4th, 5th, or 6th grader who takes the PSAT 8-9 through Duke Tip is doing great. These above-level test scores can help you identify your child's academic strengths, and you may use this information to build an appropriate educational plan for your child. For instance, you can look into things like single subject acceleration, whole grade acceleration, curriculum compacting, independent learning options, distance learning opportunities, as well as summer enrichment programs. Those last three happen to be things that Duke Tip offers. Just visit our website to learn more about our educational programs, all part of Duke Tip's mission to identify, celebrate, and challenge your academically talented child.